by demonstrators supporting the people of Cuba, of which you also support, I know. And so we obviously have to stand with the people of Cuba against the communist dictatorship. And one of the most effective things we can do as a country, and we need President Biden to step up to make this happen. And I've spoke with the FCC Commissioner Carr on the phone. We can be able to be helpful to getting Internet back onto the island of Cuba. The one thing that communist regimes fear the most is the truth. And if we're able to help Cubans communicate with one another, also communicate to the outside world, uh, that truth is going to matter. That truth, I think, will be decisive. And so, Mr. President, now's the time to stand up and be counted. Uh, I've never seen a community more unified than what we've seen here over the last uh, all, nearly a week. Uh, so this is a time for choosing. This is a time to stand with the people who are seeking freedom from a brutal 62-year reign of communist oppression. And we're happy to do whatever we can on the state level uh, to be able to, to assist the effort. Cuban Americans who are, out pro, uh, who are out demonstrating in Versailles, they're not violent. Those aren't riots. They're out there being peaceful and they're making their voice heard and we support them and their ability to do that. But it can't be where you shut down commerce or you shut down the ability to use uh, these arteries. It's we need the political willingness from the Biden administration. And if the federal government considers that they cannot pay for their resources, the Cuban American community will. I am sure that they will create an escrow, somebody that will know exactly where that money is going to. Governor, uh, as you know, for the last couple of days, major thoroughfares in